Let's work on question one in this video. So we have two guys, uh, Andre and Bernard, who want to split 400 euros. Now, the marginal utility of the first guy is the following, and of the second guy is 60 over his income. Now, in part A, we want to know what is the optimal <coughs> distribution of income if the social welfare function is the following. Now, what's the intuition here? So this is going to be an analogy with what we did in the basic micro. So whenever we have a consumer who wants to distribute or who wants to split his consumption of let's say apples and bananas we know we know that the distribution will go until the marginal utility from the last apple equals to the marginal utility from the last banana right by definition we know that we cannot do any better because if we have more utility from consuming one good we would we would spend more money on that well the same analogy goes here except that now instead of thinking about two goods for one consumer we think about two people for one society so that's the analogy we'll keep two people thinking about the society the utility of the entire society and those two people make up the utility of the entire society now the same logic goes we want to distribute the money so that we have the same happiness the same utility from the last euro and what's the intuition here well it's because one guy might value the money more than the other maybe he's more poor maybe he has more responsibilities and he needs more money so when we think about that we have to think about how to make you know his life better instead of only thinking about making our life better so that's why we think about both utilities so that when we allocate those money we must make it in such a way that the marginal utilities are going to be equal and what we also need to keep in mind is that we have 400 euros to split 400 euros to distribute meaning that the total income in this society is going to be equal to 400 euros so let's write that down over here as well the income of the first guy of Andre and the income of Bernard I think is equal to 400 euros now with this in mind it's just a matter of math we could substitute the marginal utility functions and solve it so let me just zoom out to get more space here and we can do that now how's that going to look like well let's see the marginal utility of Andre <coughs> is equal to 20 divided by income uh, of, of, of his income I'm sorry so 20 divided by income of Andre is equal to 60 divided by income of Bernard so like that and we also have to keep in mind the second thing that the total income is equal to 400 euros we're solving now a system of equations so this is now a matter of doing math so this thing now how do we solve it well let's see let me just put it into a system now from the first step we can already make some simplifications because 60 and 20 cancel out we're having 3 over here and by doing a cross product what do we get well by doing this cross multiplication we have the 3 times income of Andre so 3 times income of Andre is equal to 1 times income of Bernard so it's e equal to income of Bernard with this in mind we could substitute it we could substitute it into into the second equation meaning that if we multiply sorry meaning that if we write here income of Andre plus income of Bernard what we could write instead is income of Andre plus 3 times the ink sorry yes plus three times the income of Andre so instead of income of Bernard we're going to substitute this this function and we will have income of Andre plus three times income of Andre equal to 400 euros now four incomes of Andre so four times the income of Andre equal to 400 euros meaning that the income of Andre is only 100 euros income of Andre is equal to 100 euros and the income of Bernard is going to be three times as much the income of Bernard the income of Bernard is equal to three times a hundred which is going to be equal to 300 euros that's how we're splitting the money now let's see if this makes intuitive sense because we can see that the income of Bernard is three times as much as the income of Andre why did we decide to do so well let's see at the marginal utility function the marginal utility of Bernard has a higher intercept right it's 60 divided by IB 60 divided by his income meaning that Bernard values the last euro much more than Andre that's why we as a society decide decide to give him more money so this this should make intuitive sense hope this all makes sense in the next video we're going to go through part B and C